TypeScript wizard Matt Pocock recently released TS Reset, which is a really cool little library that improves some of TypeScript's built-in types. In this video, I want to take a look at not just what this library does, but more specifically, let's go behind the scenes and take a look at how it does what it does so we can see what we can learn about TypeScript from this. So we're here on the repo for TS Reset. It is definitely a project you should check out. The idea is really simple. You just include it in your project like this, and then it improves a bunch of things about TypeScript. TypeScript types. So it changes .json in fetch and also json.parse to both return unknown when the default is any. It also improves how filter works when you pass it the Boolean constructor like this, which is a neat little trick that you might want to do to remove undefined elements from an array and a bunch of other things. We're going to actually take a look at these two first ones specifically and look at behind the scenes how this code works. So let's take a look. If we go up here to the source directory and then into entry points, and we can start with the fetch improvement here. And I'm not sure what you were expecting, but this is pretty small, right? There's not much going on in here, but it does some really cool things. So we've got this interface called body. Where is that coming from? But we can see that it's defining the JSON function on this body interface, and it should have a return type of promise of unknown. Now, if you've worked with the fetch built-in function before, you know that fetch returns a promise with a response, and that response has a JSON function on it, which returns a promise of any. And this changes it to be promise of unknown. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I did a video on any versus unknown. And if you saw that, you know that unknown is definitely a safer type to use because TypeScript will force you to actually type check that value versus you just assuming what it is and being able to use it like any other type. So unknown is definitely safer. But what exactly is going on here? First of all, we need to find this interface body in the built in types. And I happen to have that open right over here. Look at this type here, which is the type response. Response actually is not the body itself, but it extends body. And we also see this comment here that tells us that this is a fetch API interface that represents the response to a particular request. So this is our response shape here, and it of course extends body. If I click body here, I think it will take me, yeah, it'll take me to the body interface. And notice right here, we have a JSON function that returns a promise of any. This is what we're fixing. This JSON function returning a promise of any, this line here fixes that by changing it to promise of unknown. And the way it works is something really cool about TypeScript interfaces. You can actually reopen and augment an interface at any place in your code. So when you import this type and you have interface body, this is reopening the built-in body interface, and we are overwriting the function signature for the JSON function. So now, instead of promise any, we get promise of unknown. Now, this is an important distinction between interfaces and type aliases, or, you know, where you do like type body equals object shape, for example, because those types, you can't reopen. You can augment them or you can replace them, but you can't actually augment them like we're doing here. So this is a really handy feature of TypeScript that TS Reset can use to make changes to a lot of the built-in interfaces. This is the fetch interface. Let's also take a look at, let's look at filter because I think this one is pretty interesting. This is a super useful thing. So before we look at exactly what's changed here, let's look at the current behavior. So let's say we've got this array A. And as you can see, we have some strings in here, but we also have an undefined value. And if we hover over A, that's represented in our types. We can see that this is an array of string or undefined. Okay, well, maybe we want to filter out all the undefined values and we want to have a string array. One common way that you might think you can do this is by, of course, calling array.filter, but then passing it the Boolean constructor. Because the Boolean constructor takes anything as its argument, and it's a really nice way to convert any value to true or false. If it's a truthy value, it will convert to true. If it's a falsy value, it would convert to false. And so when we call filter passing it the Boolean constructor, any falsy value, for example, undefined, will not be included in the output array, will only get the truthy values. And in this case, those truthy values are all strings. So B should really be just an array of strings. And unfortunately, the built-in types don't really know this. They just know that we're filtering the array, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the type of the array is being changed. It's just a subset of the first array, which can be the same type. So what is TS Reset doing to solve this problem? It's again, reopening the interfaces. And this time there's two, there's the array, and then there's the read-only array interface. Uh, maybe you're not familiar with read-only array. This is essentially like constant tuples that you have in TypeScript. We have these two and we're changing the filter function. 
Now, the neat thing about this example is we're not actually uh, changing or replacing the entire uh, filter function signature. This is actually essentially augmenting it. And the reason it's augmenting or adding a new function signature to filter is because of the predicate here. We're specifically looking for cases where the predicate is the Boolean constructor. So the predicate is not just any function, it is this function specifically. We're passing it the Boolean constructor. And in the case when we pass it the Boolean constructor, we are changing the return value of filter. Filter is not just returning another array of t. It is returning an array of t, but t is being passed to this TS reset utility type non-falsy, whereas an array of non-falsy of t. Same thing in both cases. We can actually head over to uh, this utility type right here, and let's take a look at what this is doing. Non-falsy of t basically has a conditional type here on t. If t extends any falsy value, and these are the falsy values in TypeScript, false, zero, empty string, null, undefined, or zero as a big int. If t is any of those things, then we're gonna return never, Otherwise, we're going to return t. And of course, when t is a union type, what this means is that if any of these falsy values are one of the parts of the union, then the new union that we get is going to have never in their place. Never, of course, is an empty set, so it's dropped from the union, and we're left with t, only the truthy values of t. So with that in mind, if we come back to our array interface here, then whenever we have an array of t, the result of calling filter specifically with the Boolean constructor is the non-falsy values of t, again, in an array. And so if we want to go back to our example here, let me go back to the home page of TypeScript Reset and copy our reset line here. But if I pop that here at the top, and now we hover over b, you can see that b is now a string array. And actually, if we hover over filter here, you can see that we've got some extra overloads. And specifically, the overload that we're hitting is where the predicate is the Boolean constructor. And if this takes an array of string undefined, it returns an array of only string. So that is just two of almost a dozen different improvements that the TS Reset library is making to the base TypeScript types. This is definitely something worth checking out. It's kind of like a CSS reset, of course. I mean, I think it even says that here in the description. Yeah, CSS reset for TypeScript. It's got the same idea where it's kind of giving you a better starting point for building your own applications up top of. So definitely check out this library. Also, I found it really fun to check out the issues on this library as well. What's going on is a lot of people are suggesting other improvements or other things that they would love to see changed in the base TypeScript types. And in a lot of these, there's some conversation about whether or not these other ideas would be a good addition to this library. So if you're interested in hearing about ways people think the TypeScript base type should be improved, and also maybe why those things aren't always as true as you think they are, there's definitely a lot of interesting stuff being talked about in these issues. And of course, also do check out Matt Pocock himself amazing videos here on YouTube. Honestly, go subscribe to his stuff. As you can see, I definitely am. And I think what you'll find is you can learn a lot about TypeScript from him. So this has been a quick look at the TS Reset library. Very cool library. If you have other TypeScript libraries you'd like me to check out here on the channel, definitely let us know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.